Hey there Dev Squad Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be making a start on the environment for our Mech Combat game. So if you take a look at the images on the screen at the moment you can see a couple of examples of how it's going to look. We've got foliage assets in there, we've got landscape assets and a player base that the player is going to be able to use. The first part of our game development is going to be setting up this environment and then from there we'll be moving on to the character, adding enemies and all of that good stuff as we move deeper into the series. So with any new level you need to give yourself a blank canvas, somewhere you can work with easily. So what I'm going to do is go to file and create a brand new level. Now with this level we are going to be using the default template as we do want to keep the sky elements that you don't have in the empty level. Once you've created that what we're going to be doing is moving out and just deleting this little platform that we've got here as we're no, no longer going to need it. From there we're going to move on to creating ourselves a new landscape that the player is going to be able to walk around. Now with this landscape we are going to keep the default settings, we don't want our game to be too big. The way that I've set it up you are going to be staying in one specific little area around your player base fighting off waves and waves of enemies. So the default settings are all good for now and then what I'm going to do is just press create and that is going to create our landscape for us. Now you guys can do all kinds of stuff if you want to to shape your landscape a little bit more and what I mean by that is sort of adding in things like rocks, mountains and all of that good stuff. So if we zoom out we can do that. Now this main center area that I've got here I'm going to be keeping this for our player base. Anything around that we can start creating some hills, some mountains and all of that good stuff. So that's what I'm going to start shaping right now. So what I'm going to do is start off by using the sculpt tool. With the sculpt tool selected I'm going to start creating some mountains around the edge. Sort of as a boundary for the player so they can't fall off the edge of the level. Up in the top right hand corner I'm going to adjust my camera speed so I can move nice and quick. All the way up just like this. And then with it I'm going to turn up my brush size to the size of a mountain and then I'm just going to hold down left click and sort of draw a nice big circle just like this. And then once you've done that and you've got your mountains all I'm expecting you to do is just sort of go over it, make it nice and patchy, just keep on left clicking, raise it up and give it that sort of mountainy shape. What you can do afterwards to add a little bit of detail is go in with the erosion tool, add a bit of noise um, and just step it. But for me, I am happy with what we have got here. Um, but you guys can put more detail in it as it is your level at the end of the day. It doesn't matter how different your level is, but I just want you guys to have the ability to use the tools and techniques to create exactly what you want to. So I'm happy with that in terms of mountains. Now what I'm also going to do within our level that we've got here is I'm going to turn my brush size down a little bit and I'm going to turn my tool strength down as well. And I'm just going to create a few sort of hills um, and sort of sloped areas on our level so we have a bit of variation. So all I'm doing is just going around with my brush, left clicking and just creating these little hills here. You can use the noise tool if you want to, it's entirely up to you. Now this is a perfect opportunity for you guys to learn a little bit more about level design. If you want to learn more about level design, I definitely advise that you go ahead and check out my level design essential series as that will teach you a little bit more in depth about the landscape editor rather than just the few bits that we're doing in this one episode. But for now I am happy with that. Let's move on to actually adding some colour because at the moment within our scene all we've got is this checkerboard material on here. Also what you'll have noticed just happened there is the player actually fell through the ground, through the landscape that we've created and the reason why they've done that is because our player start, which is where the player is going to spawn into our level is beneath the ground. So to be able to move that what I'm going to do is go back into my place mode and then from here I'm just going to move it 
above the ground just like that and then if I press play you can go into my scene and once again just like I said you can see that it's got this checkerboard material. We need to get rid of this and we can do so really really easily. Now being it the art style that we're going for, the low poly style, all we're going to be doing is just adding in some flat colors into the material. So we're just talking about a simple green, a simple brown, and so on. So within our mech combat folder, the one that we've created and highlighted in blue, I'm going to right click and add a new folder. I'm going to give this the name materials. And then all I'm going to do inside of here is right click, add a new material, and we're going to give this the name terrain material. And then open this up and we can start adding in those colors for our landscape. Now a landscape material does need to be set up in a little bit different to the way that you would with a normal material. And what I mean by that is you need to have layers as you're going to be co uh, painting on different colors onto your landscape. As opposed to a material, it's all going to be defined by UVs, whereas with a landscape, you're painting it on with a brush instead. But you want to have all those different textures or colors inside of one material. Let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So within here, what I'm going to be doing is right clicking and then looking for landscape layer blend. And what this is going to allow me to do is to break it down into layers. So we can have a layer for grass, we can have a layer for rock, and a layer for dirt. You want to hook this up into your base color as that is what we're going to be doing with this. We're simply going to be adding in those different colors. Over on the details panel in the bottom left hand corner here, what we're going to be doing is adding in a couple of elements. For now, all I'm going to be doing is adding in two elements. One of these is going to be for rock, and one of these is going to be for grass. So with the first one, zero, I'm going to expand that, and I'm going to set this to grass. And then for the second one, we are going to set the layer name to rock. And what you'll notice, as I've made those two elements there and given them your name, you can see I've now got the inputs up here in my layer blend node and we can actually feed information into that defining the colors for each of those layers. So the way that I'm going to do this is by right clicking, go to constant and add a constant free vector. And then I'm just going to select this, press control C to copy it and control V to paste it or you can just create a new one, it's entirely up to you. But I'm going to be hooking up one of these into each of our layers. So select the one that you've just hooked up to your grass and then with this all we're going to be doing is giving this a green color and the way you're doing this is click the little constant in the details panel press that black bar and it's going to allow you to choose a new color. For me I'm just going to go ahead and choose a quite desaturated green. You guys can choose any color it's entirely up to you but this is going to work for me. Moving on from there, if we select the second one, what I can do with this is once again, I can go down to the details, grab my constant, and I can give this a second color. Now I'm gonna be giving this a gray, so the best way to get myself a gray is to go towards the middle where the white is, and then just dragging it up around here. So this will give you your gray color. If you guys want to give it a tint of another color, you can. For example, adding in a tint of blue, you're more than happy to, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. But for me, that is the gray that I am happy with. Go ahead and hit apply. Give it a couple of seconds to make those changes. And from there, we can actually start painting this onto our landscape. So what I'm going to do as well is make sure I press save so that we have all the changes that we've made you know, come to life. Also, back in your level within your main Unreal Engine editor, you want to make sure you save the current level so you don't lose it if your Unreal Engine crashes or anything like that. So we're going to give this the name Level 1. And then we're just going to go ahead and hit Save. And it should now say Level 1 in the top left hand corner. So, Let's actually use this terrain material we've just created. 
So with this terrain material selected, go ahead and click your landscape. And then, if we scroll down in the details panel on the right hand side, we can assign this landscape material. After a couple of seconds, you are going to notice it will change colour once the shaders have finished compiling, and you can see it's compiling those shaders in the top left there. At the moment, you are going to notice it is all black, and the reason for that is simply because we haven't got any layer information on there yet, we haven't started painting it. Also, what you need to do for each of these layers in your layer blend node, set your preview weight down here to 0 0.5. So do that for both 0 and 1, and then what we're going to do is start creating that layer information. So hit apply, and then just close it up, and once again you will notice your landscape is going to change, but it's going to change to the green color being the first color in our layers. So to start painting this, we need to go into the landscape mode. You can do this at the top here. Once you've done this, you want to go over to the paint panel. And down here, we have got our layers that we created using our landscape node. So we've got our grass and we've got our rock. With our grass, what we want to do is press the little create layer info and create a weight blended normal. And then just put this into your main mech combat folder and press OK. And then go ahead and do the same thing for your rock as well, straight in the mech combat folder and then press OK. And as you can see here, now we have got our green landscape. This is our grass. And what we can do is start to paint our landscape. To paint our landscape, it's really straightforward and really easy to do. So you can select another layer like rock and then just hold down left click and it's going to start painting. What you will notice will happen is while the shaders compile, it is going to switch to that checkerboard image so just give it a couple of seconds and you can begin painting on there. So all I'm going to do is quickly zoom out and then just start painting this grey on my mountains that I've got. So what I'm going to do is turn my tool strength up a little bit so I can paint it on there quicker, turn my brush size up so I can capture more of that mountain that I've got around the edge and then just go and paint it straight on just like that. So once again, this is another situation where you guys are more than welcome to start using your initiative or creativity rather and start adding in your own little elements using the landscape tool like I've shown you. Start painting it like I've shown you. You can use all sorts of different colors. This is just what I'm going to be using for the purpose of this video. But for now, we have got a simple little environment with some grass, with some rock, some mountains, and all of that good stuff. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for this video. In the next one, we'll be moving on to adding in some foliage to things like trees, logs, flowers, bushes, and all of that good stuff. But right now, we're at a pretty solid position, and we have the landscape ready to go. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, Signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.